What's up everybody? This is Kefis, your friendly neighborhood paladin, and you're looking at the World of Warcraft through my eyes. The purpose of this video is to show you what my UI looks like and how I generally play the game. I get a lot of people who ask me how I play WoW, and specifically with a disability. If you didn't know, I'm legally blind, and basically what that means is that I sit with my nose up against the screen and on occasion I might accidentally do something like this. Ah crap. But luckily I can bubble, so I'm good there. Basically this is my screen and this is what my UI looks like. You, know, you notice that everything's just a little bit bigger than normal. Um, I don't think it's that much bigger, but then again I do see people running those uh, really cool minimalistic UIs where they get to see so much of the game world, so lucky. Um, but you know, we all have our thing and we all have our UIs that work for us. So there you can see the size of my tool tips and generally you just see how much things are bigger for me than than probably what, what you would normally use as a, in general. Um, see things like my blips are a lot bigger um, and you know my font, my my, my Pratt chat add-on is, is a lot bigger and you're hearing um, my chat sounds go off for, for different chat channels that I use. Um, my my um, UI, my unit frames with X Pearl, and I have Bartender down here with a little bit bigger action bars, and um, and yeah, that's basically it. You know, the goal here is to is to minimize eye strain, and so that I have to make sure that my fonts in general are a lot larger than normal to make sure that I can see the game clearly and see all the information without squinting my eyes. You know, when you play well, you tend to play it a lot. So, so I have to make sure that, that I'm seeing things clearly and, and, and not straining my eyes too much. That's very important. Um, so that's basically it, and that's basically what it looks like. As far as how I play the game, I use an Xbox 360 controller, and it's mapped out pretty, pretty basic. You know, left, left joystick moves me, uh, right joystick moves my mouse. Um, it doesn't go diagonal very well. Every now and then I have to switch over to my actual mouse so you can see how smoothly my actual mouse moves compared to this which is my controller it kinda kinda struggles but but generally it works out just fine and, and I get through okay um, left uh, left bumper controls left click and right bumper controls right click and that's how I move the camera I hold right bumper down and I, and I move the mouse so I can move the mouse around and, and, and turn my guy and turn the turn the camera around so so that's basically how that works. Um, as far as how my abilities work, if you notice, um, the bottom bar here is my main action bar. And then the top bar is my secondary action bar. Um, the main action bar con is controlled by standard blizzard, which is um, number one all the way up through the equal sign. And then this secondary action bar is 12 more buttons, which is controlled by F1 all the way through F12. And how it's mapped out on my controllers, if you're familiar with Xbox controllers, you know that it goes A, then X, then Y, then B. And that's how I have it set up here with these four buttons. It's A for Judgment, and then X for Templar's Verdict, Y for Rebuke, and then B for Divine Storm. When I hold down left trigger in the back and then hit A, it does Repentance, and then so on and so forth. And then for the last group of four, it's right trigger plus A, and then X, and then Y, and then B. Um, and these ones up here are all controlled with the D-pad. So D-pad down does exorcism. And then D-pad left does inquisition. And then up is lay on hands and right is word of glory. Um, and then when you hold down left tr uh, left trigger and hold down and hit uh, D-pad down, it does it switches my aura. And then so on and so forth. And then right, uh, right, jo uh, right trigger down and, and the buttons do these four buttons here um, and then I when I hold down both triggers I have even more access to, to more abilities and that's how I have access to all the buttons that I need um, holding down both triggers and and hitting the d-pad will give me access to opi which controls different things like my auras if I held this one down um, it would be my quest items if I had any and then this is easy access for my my blacksmithing and other professions jewel crafting and whatnot so, so that's that's how I have access to all that stuff. It makes it really easy with the help of add-ons to uh, to have as much access as I need. And that's basically how I play WoW, guys. Um, you know, back will open up my 
my map and then start will open up my options and then I have basically using those in the in the combos like with the action bars I have access to even more panels so it makes it really easy to get everything I can even mount up with one combo it's not that big of a deal and um, and I have an all-purpose mount button so I only need one button for mounting up anywhere um, and that that's basically it so here's a little bit of what combat looks like for me I use uh, I use a lot of macros. If you're looking, you can see the uh, my holy power um, bouncing around there to let me see it easy. Um, below my around my feet, you're seeing a little squiggly line. That's actually an add-on similar to power auras called weak auras, and it basically it's for Inquisition. So as that squiggly line is going down, it's letting me know that my Inquisition timer is going down. So that lets me know when I need to pop that back up. The little icon above my head is an add-on called Destruction for Dummies and it's good for all classes it basically shows um, what abilities you need to be hitting next on list um, and I don't follow it perfectly all the time <laughs> but it's really just there to make sure that I'm hitting my abilities and that my macros are are lining up properly and I'm doing the best I can with with, uh, with my rotations or uh, priorities and whatnot so so that's how I do it. This is what combat's like for me. This is how I play World of Warcraft. Um, and this is for those of you who, are, who might have been interested. So I hope you enjoy this video. And I hope it just gives you a little bit of insight on what it's like for me playing World of Warcraft. Um, if you have any questions for me about this, feel free to ask. Give me feedback. Uh, you know, let me know what you think. If you'd like to see more videos like this or anything from me, uh, feel free to ask, you know, let me know. Um, and I will say this, you guys, this is this is to AIE. You know, the biggest resource for someone like me with a disability playing World of Warcraft is is you guys. You know, you awesome people who are just there to help out and be fun and be friendly and just be AIE. And that goes a long way, longer than an Xbox 360 controller and a few add-ons does. And so I want to thank you very much for, for making my WoW experience what it's been for the last two years. And you guys go a long way into how I play WoW. So thank you very much, guys. Stay awesome. Stay AIE. And have a good day. Thank you.